another gig load. Today it is a Tuesday. We are turning up on a Tuesday. We did have a previous Tuesday wedding uh, a while back. I'll enter some clips right now. Today we are actually providing DJ and lighting services. Uh, they have their own MCs, they have their own band. We're just playing a little bit in between the band and some background music and some special stuff, providing microphones, speakers, audio, and of course lighting and special effects. So behind me, you see our two truss towers right there. These are the three meter global truss. We've got six of our wireless hex box lights on three on each side, two of our 1000 watt LED strobes and our one meter pixel bars on each. We have our custom neon sign that we actually make, so we could custom neon sign, we mounted that as well. It looks really nice. The table, as you can notice, is pin spots. So if you look around the room, there's pin spots hanging from all the chandeliers. Some of those are ours, some of those are the venues. They're all the same, which just makes it even better. Uh, continuing, you'll see our up lighting all around the room. And we have some of our pixel tubes. We're still uh, waiting to set up the last three because we're waiting on the band to finish, but we like to use those to kind of accent bands, accent other areas because they're, they don't emit a ton of light, so they don't really illuminate a dance floor, but they look really cool and they're cool eye candy, so we kind of make it look nice that way. Going around the room, as you can see, up lighting. We have our custom monogram from Projectogram. Shout out to Projectogram. They actually provide these beautiful custom monograms. You tell them exactly what you want. There's a nice customized website to send your clients to. Link to a promo code in the description so you can get a discount. Uh, if they approve that for me, if not, you won't see that down there. But shout out Projectogram. They also have this mount. So we use an Epson Verilite 4770, which is a 5,000 lumens projector. It's got uh, adjustments so you can adjust this up or down without having to move the mount. So it kind of makes the mount not as important. But if you just have a standard projector that doesn't have a movable lens, this is a Projectogram magic mount or easy mount, I think they call it. It lets you uh, attach to any speaker pole, or if you have a sidebar from a truss, you can put it on there. 360 degree rotation, you can shoot it down on the dance floor. Either way, great product. Uh, comes with the brackets as well for any size projector. Moving on to our DJ setup, we've got our five panel Rockwell facade. Uh, one of the panels is a little bent because if you saw in the last gig log, which you should, uh, if not, it's right up there. Uh, we had a woman um, shuffle a little too hard to smell MFAO and uh, took out a piece of our facade as well as a hole and 
a little bent, so I'm gonna have to get a new panel. Luckily, Rock will sell new panels. Up top, EAW RS 123s. I reviewed them a little bit in the last video. Uh, there will be a review video coming out soon, but uh, love these things. They're super loud, they scream, powerful, insane. Uh, down here, running the audio processing, we've got a DBX uh, 223 XS. Still on the fence, I think I might go back to the Rock Phillips. I think it sounds a little bit better on the low end. A little more ground noise, but once you're playing music, you'll even notice. Uh, DJ Control Impulse 500, full edition, 97,000. You already know, Kai LPDA, which is not plugged in. I don't know why, I just have a habit right here. I'd hardly use it, so. We're not really DJing, so we're just plugging in. I don't know why it's there, but regardless. Behringer Xenix QX602 MP3, two Sennheiser G4 wireless microphones. Both of them are the 935 capsule, which is, in my opinion, the best sounding. Uh, either way, those mics sound great. Half wave antennas, signal everywhere. Uh, clipboard with the timeline, pen, oh, that's all you need. Uh, Status Audio CB1 headphones. L lighting is Freestyler, and he's going to be running that tonight, so if it sucks, blame him. Uh, He's filming. Torque 2.0, uh, running on the MacBook, our uh, MacBook Pro. That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, and uh, dancing on our cloud. We're getting that warmed up in a little bit here. So we still got about an hour and 15 before the first dance, so plenty of time. I usually plug mine in an hour. The key is to not drop the dry ice until it's just about time for the first dance. You basically drop it as soon as that first dance starts, so that, that way all the little crushed up pieces fall into there and you're not cooling down the water too much. Made that mistake once, never again. But we're getting uh, we're getting started with this party. Like I said, again, we're just uh, doing some music in between the band sets, some special dances and providing microphones, lighting, and special effects. Not really DJing, but it should still be a fun party. It's Tuesday, let's turn up, let's go. As we welcome, for the very first time, as husband and wife, Mr. Ryan Just one touch and then it happens 